In this module, we are going to learn about Microsoft Azure AI Fundamentals module, which is focusing on natural language processing. When we are exploring NLP, natural language processing, this includes sentiment analysis, key phrase extraction, named entity recognition, and language detection. That's the reason the agenda of this module is organized like, first we are going to understand natural language processing concepts, and then we will talk about the capabilities which are available in Azure. The learning objective of this module will be like this. First, we need to recognize when natural language processing and conversational AI can be used, in which scenarios of our day-to-day -day applications we can apply this. Also, we will identify Azure AI services that can include NLP processing inside that. And then we are going to use text analysis for ourselves. And then we will see a language studio where different demos are available for same. Let's start with natural language processing concept first. So if you have a question like what is natural language processing? The answer is NLP is the area of AI that deals with making sense of writing and spoken language. Typically, an NLP solution starts with a large volume of raw text, which is then pre-processed to prepare it for modeling. Many of these approaches were extensively used in statistical modeling techniques that relied on counting the frequency of words in text and derive meaning from that, but are not so important in the modern deep learning techniques. One thing that is commonly done through the tokenization of the word is representing each distinct word or a phrase with a unique numeric identifier. The set of tokens for a given corpus of the text represent the vocabulary for a language model. The data which is generated based on this token is then used to be training the model. Depending on the type of the task you want to accomplish, the detail of the model will vary. For example, you might use a fully connected neural network to train a classification model for sentiment analysis, predicting where the, the statement which is given in the text is positive or negative. Or you might use a more sophisticated neural network to train a model that encode language tokens as a vector that encapsulates semantic relationship between words in the vocabulary. Such models are useful for translation, summarization, and the text completion task. Depends upon your requirement, you're going to use different tokenization and different kind of a model training for that. This kind of multiple language models are available in Azure AI, and you can also customize them with your own data. Some common tasks which you can assume for language model can be text analysis, opinion mining and sentiment analysis, machine translation, summarization of the given text or paragraphs, and then conversational AI, where you can develop a dialogue-based human interface connection, like a bot, where you are going to provide some input, and based on those, you can interact with the bot. Now, we are going to focus on three different characteristics of natural language processing in this module. First, we are going to talk about language, then speech, and then translator. We'll cover these capabilities because these capabilities are going to be helping you to develop your applications with natural language processing, which can do similar kind of activities which are available here, language detection, key phrase extraction, sentiment analysis, as we have discussed. We also have speech, which is going to focus on text to speech or speech to text kind of conversion, where you can generate a speech from the text with your choice of voices, which are available in the gallery. You can also provide an input as a speech, and then you can do a speech identification, speaker identification kind of thing, or maybe language identification kind of things in that. You can also use translator, where you want to translate a text from one language to another language, or maybe you want to do a document translation, or maybe you want to integrate translation services, which speech services, so that you can convert a one sentence to another sentence using a speech.